Hello, this is Kalotron Plays, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, guys, I'll show you how to make a super simple piglin bartering farm that also comes with a little glitch to help you preserve your gold. So, if you like the sound of that, then please make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're not new, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into things. So, if I turn around here, you will see that we have our piglin right here. Uh, may as well stop this clock right now. Uh, but yep, yeah, as you will see, we have an etho hop clock at the back here. And what this does is it passes uh, 11 items uh, between these two hoppers and then we'll send out a pulse mm -hmm. into this dropper which should be filled with gold. Then that gold will get shot out into the piglin's hand and he will drop whatever he wants into this barrel right here. And so normally uh, this would leave us with just the items and all the gold would disappear. However with this setup, uh, with the dropper right next to the hopper, uh, this, at the same time the piglin picks up the gold, so does the hopper, so the gold kind of gets duplicated, but since the piglin would destroy it anyway, it kind of gets preserved instead, so if I now put this gold back in the dropper, you'll see what I mean. We have 32 in there, and if I start this off, actually, let's uh, speed up a little, I'll put in, we'll put four, yeah, four should be enough. Put four gold ingots in there. If we now start this farm running, you'll see one ingot gets dispensed and one is found in the barrel here. And we can leave it a bit longer. You'll see it will continue to do the same thing over and over again. So, yeah, this is a really simple and really broken farm that allows you to basically infinitely trade with piglins. But, yeah, let's get straight ahead into showing you how to make it. So, uh, just over here, I'm going to start. First of all, we're just going to build out the base a little. Uh, we want to have our barrel here with a hopper facing into it and a black or a carpet on top. Then at the back here, uh, we're just going to start building a little bit of a platform uh, to house this contraption, uh, to house the hopper clock on right there. So we want to have our hopper facing into this barrel with a black carpet on top. Then we're going to have a lever here with a repeater coming out the back and this will be feeding into our uh, hopper clock to turn it on and off so we just have that going over there for the time being uh, now we want to grab our black stained glass or whatever you like and just place that in here uh, this is basically just so we can see the piglin at all times and we want to have it uh, being built up a bit like this so you'll see we have We've left a hole in the centre there, that's where the piglin is going to be dropping down from. And we also want a dropper right here, uh, facing, we want to place it so it's facing into the space the piglin will be occupying. So, let's place it like that, there we go. Place our blackstone bricks back, and now we can kind of fill up this area here, uh, just to make it all uh, nice and proper. So, let's do that. Now we can go ahead and drop our piglin in the top here and seal him up. You should see he'll be at eye level. Uh, we don't want him dipping his feet into the into the hopper because that will then mess up uh, him collecting the gold. Uh, then we want to come at the back here and we're going to have uh, we're going to get out our redstone uh, just like this. So here we go. We want to have our uh, uh, repeaters, there are comparators facing one into the hopper or one into the dispenser and the other out this way into a random block. Then we're going to have uh, two hoppers facing into each other uh, like this. So you should see they're both off the ground like that. Then we want a sticky piston here, another one here and some redstone dust behind this sticky piston. Then we're going to place a block of redstone uh, right there. Next we want to grab a block here and leave this redstone on coming up to here and for now we're going to flick this on uh, just so the farm is off by default. Uh, then we're going to grab ourselves um, let's just do this properly 
Oh, come on. Uh, we want to grab ourselves uh, 11 items of any sort and just stick those uh, into one of the hoppers. So I'm going to put them in here. And then you will see. Uh, now all you need to do is load gold into this dropper here. And it's easy if you do it from this side because it has a nice convenient hole. Now all you need to do is flick the lever up and we should see it start working. So, uh, let's see. Gold was dispensed. Gold arrived in the barrel. And we should see that he will drop that and a bunch of items. There we go. So he's dropped out his obsidian and more gold has been duplicated. So we can now turn that off and yeah. That's the farm, it's as simple as that. And uh, with the design here, uh, because of the way this has been built, uh, you can basically have tons of these all next to each other and they'll function just perfectly. So yeah, you can do that. You can have tons of these guys going all at the same time and it will be perfectly fine. So yeah, you have this is basically a way to get tons of resources for completely free. So if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, then please make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Kaletron Plays. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.